Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Dr. Ryle Bell, and I'm the president of this band, or so they tell me. A very distinguished and august group of musicians. And I want to thank you for coming out this afternoon to celebrate this Christmas season with us. Just a brief history of the band. It began in about 1973, 74, in the ballpark. And it began as a joint project between a citizen of Tacoma Park, Mr. Roy Corbin, and the directors of the uh, Blair High School Band and Tacoma Park Middle School Band. And so they started, he started this band back in 1973, they bounced. And uh, it comprised then mostly of students from the high school and residents of the home park. Over the years, we've morphed into more of an adult band. We don't get many students, but the band had two directives in it. One, that we wouldn't play as good music as we could, and two, that anybody who wanted to join this band could join the band which is good for me because around 1977, I bought this saxophone and couldn't play. And a friend of mine said, you should join the band. He played clarinet at the time. And so I came to practice. I'd never read music in my life. I never played a saxophone. I happened to be fortunate to sit next to an old guy in the old day. Uh, it's Ed Mitchell. And Ed would sit, sit me there and he'd, when we'd be playing, he said, go over there and play there. Oh, you're at number 14. And so I kept getting lost all the time. After about two months, they had their first concert. So at the last rehearsal before the concert, I said, well, I'll see you guys after the concert. They said, oh, no, you're a member of the band. You come to the concert and play. So two months later, I'm playing at the concert, had no idea what I was doing. But I would, every now and then he said, over there, play over there, play over there. So I made it through. Playing a few solo notes of my own when the band was supposed, was supposed to be playing. <laughs> and then when I returned the following Monday, they said, Oh, you didn't do the bad, you did all right. I said, Lord, if that was all right, then I, I don't know it was bad. <laughs> but over the years, I think I've gotten a little better. We've had several uh, directors of this band over the years. Uh, uh, Roy was the first, uh, he was an immigrant from uh, Barbados in the Caribbean, which is where I happen to be from, incidentally. Uh, we've had three or four male directors of the band uh, since then, and Marcy is our first woman director. Um, um, so we love her dearly. Fortunately for her, when she came here, her hair was already white. But if it weren't, it'd be white now. <laughs> but we enjoy her conducting this, and so thank you again for coming this evening. not exactly a holiday songwriter Irving Berlin grew up celebrating. He was born in Russia, son of a cantor, and his first language was Yiddish. The family came to America when he was five years old. As a young immigrant boy, unfamiliar with the holiday, he marveled at all of the trappings associated with the season while visiting at his Irish neighbor's home. He soon realized Christmas to be, for many people, as much a cultural holiday as a religious one. In January 1940, Irving Berlin, one of the most popular songwriters in America, raced into his office to ask his musical assistant to take down a new song. He said, not only is it the best song I ever wrote, it's the best song anybody ever wrote. <laughs> he may have been right. Clearly, White Christmas has endured through time. Many versions have been recorded, but Bing Crosby has outsold all of them. His single was released in October 1942 and steadily rose up the charts. What cinched its success was inclusion in the playlist of Armed Forces Radio. American GIs spending their first Christmas overseas during World War II wholeheartedly embraced the song's homespun sentiments. Here is an arrangement by Michael Sweeney.
Forgotten is a musical pairing of the Christmas carols Silent Night and Of the Father's Love Begotten. The melodies for these carols were written hundreds of years apart in different parts of Europe. Silent Night was per first performed on Christmas Eve, 1818, in a small Austrian village. Legend has it that Franz Herbert composed the melody with guitar accompaniment for performance at that night's mass after flooding had damaged the church's pipe organ. While Silent Night is a very popular song at Christmas time, Of the Father's Love Begotten may not be as familiar. Even though not as well known, it has been around for a very long time. Its melody is based on a hauntingly beautiful plain chant, first published in 1582 by Theodore Petrie of Sweden. These two carols from different times and places mesh together into a timeless holiday selection. The next medley, A Jammin' Caribbean Christmas, 
opens with the traditional calypso of the Virgin Mary had a baby boy. The carol is thought to have originated in Jamaica in the 1950s. Throughout the years, it has been performed by Pete Seeger, Harry Belafonte, and Mahalia Jackson. The Creole influence of the islands is reflected in the French carol, Bring a Torch, Jeanette Isabella, in a relaxed, lyrical setting. Tradition has it that Jeanette and Isabella, two farmhands, discovered the newborn. Excited by their discovery, they alerted the nearby villagers. To this day, on Christmas Eve in the Provence region of France, children dressed as shepherds and milkmaids carry torches and candles while singing this carol on their way to midnight mass. Go Tell It on the Mountain, an African-American spiritual, also served as an announcement of the Holy Birth from the mountaintops. And in this arrangement is presented in reggae style, the mountains being those in Jamaica. music related to Hanukkah, the Festival of Lights, a commemoration of the rededication of the Second Temple in Jerusalem and victory of the Maccabees against the Seleucid Empire of Greece. It is observed by lighting candles of the menorah for eight nights. 
It is not a major holiday in the religious sense, but has become significant culturally in some places due to its proximity to Christmas on the calendar. This year, the Jewish holiday begins on December 18th and continues until December 26th. Included in this medley are, I have a little drill about making a spinning top and using it to play a popular Hanukkah game, Mao's Zur, or Strong Rock of My Salvation, from a centuries-old Jewish liturgical poem sung after lighting the menorah, and O Hanukkah, O Hanukkah, about celebrating the joyful holiday with dreidels, potato latkes, dancing, and the menorah. Enjoy these spirited tunes.
Next you will hear Angels in the Bleak Midwinter, an evocatively orchestrated combination of In the Bleak Midwinter by the British composer Gustav Holst and the well-known carol Angels We Have Heard on High. Gustav Holst was a trombonist, music teacher, and neo-romantic composer known for his excellent orchestration and cosmopolitan style. His best known work is the orchestral suite The Planets, written in 1918. Angels We Have Heard on High is most often sung to the tune of a traditional French carol, with lyrics inspired by a traditional French hymn tune, Gloria. In this arrangement, the alto flute, an instrument not often used in band arrangements, joins the flute section, <laughs> where it adds a depth of sound and darkens the mood in the beginning and end of the composition.
Christmas is a compilation of secular holiday tunes that sparkles with the joys and emotions of the season. You will hear these very familiar songs, the perky Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the melancholic I'll Be Home for Christmas, the cheerful Frosty the Snowman, the seasonal Winter Wonderland, and the nostalgic The Christmas Song. Sammy Nestico is known as a consummate arranger and did a wonderful job of melding these songs together for our performing delight and for your listening pleasure.
The iconic song Sleigh Ride is noted for the sounds of a horse foot clapping and a whip used to get the horse moving. Listen to our percussionists who will produce those sounds and identify the instrument that imitates a horse. As Marylanders living near Pimlico, we love the sound of a racing horse. Giddy up, band!
as well as for children. We, the band plays for all of her play day events, and it's one of our favorite things to do. So Pat, you've been a great fan of ours. We really appreciate that. Um, are there any other council members present? Okay. Um, let's see. I want to take this opportunity to thank the band, each of the members of the band. Um, opportunities like that, aren't you, Pat? Thank you. Now, folks, it's your turn to make some music. Uh, Mary and our alto sax player, Tom, will lead you in a little medley. You should have the words uh, on that special sheet of music. Uh, I'll just say that the band has a four-measure intro, and when I turn around, start singing Jingle Bells, and then Watch Mary and Tom, and you'll, you'll be on your own. Uh, on behalf of the band, I do want to wish everyone a very happy holiday season. And thank you so much for coming out. I know there's lots of things you could be doing with your time, but you decided to come here, and we're very appreciative of it. Thank you so much. And let me give our conductor a great round of applause from all of behind us.